Okay, now we are approaching the subtitling session, which I've been dreading this whole time. <laughs> but it's a major part of your project. iMovie is a great program, and we all are uh, in deep awe of its flexibility and its ability to give you agility as an editor. But uh, it is not designed for subtitling. And so after a whole lot of research and trial and error, uh, I have come up with this system for subtitling that I think will make your life a whole lot easier. All right. So well, let's go in our titles here. And of course, subtitle is a title. It's a title. It just uh, goes along your, your whole entire timeline. And it tells you what, what's being said in another language. All these titles are great, and, and, I, and I mentioned the animation and so forth associated with it, but iMovie does not give you much control over where they are, uh, control over the animation itself, and, and that sort of thing, like you would have in its big brother, Final Cut Pro, which, by the way, it takes a little bit more to learn <laughs> than iMovie, but, but guess what? Once you lose, If you learn iMovie, you can move up to Final Cut Pro, uh, a lot easier than just starting out. So out of all of these titles, I have determined upon many experiments, the only, yes, the only one you can use for subtitling is this one right here. Lower, in this case it's a lower third. It's not this one that says lower third. Uh, and these are not suitable because of the double the double lines there, which have animation, and just uh, they don't work out. And all these that have animation are completely not suitable. And uh, we can't move them around in the frame as we demonstrated. This one here, lower. So let's put it down here. And I'm going to just drag it right on my project. And there it is. And we see, we see, uh, you know, it's in the, it's in the lower third place, which is typical for introducing people people's names and titles and so forth. Okay, so here we have this. And first of all, the concept, let me describe the concept. When we have speech or when we're uh, speaking, there are natural breaks in how we speak. Like right there, uh, after I said speak, there was a break. Well, that might be a really good time to say, okay, everything I said up to that break, or uh, you would put, you know, you would translate that. Okay, great. With that in mind, I am going to format this title. Now, it's over here in the, it's, it's uh, lined up to be on the right, and we don't necessarily want that. We want it to line up on the left. There we go. Uh, we may or may not want this outline. That can be determined by whatever is in the frame, because we want, above all, we want the reader to be able to read it. That's imperative. So you can uh, take away that outline. It's, it's not a, a big big deal to fix that as we move along. So right now I'm just going to say um, uh, this is the only title you can use in the entire iMovie title selection. Okay, well look, uh, that's only one sentence. Um, uh, this is a hard, hard to deal with. Now we've got four. That, that, that would really interfere with something that's in the frame, right? If a person's talking, you can't adjust the letter spacing. You can't adjust the line spacing to make that uh, so all you can do is adjust the size here. So we're going to do that 91. So I have determined that between 7 or I'll say 80 and uh, 50 is just about it. So I've gone to 80 here. You try your best to keep it to two lines. Three lines is, is okay, but four lines I think is just too much, unless that's all you can do. So let's go to uh, 70. Well, look, there's no 70, but you can just type it in there. Uh, Let's try 70. Uh, that's still not, you know, that's that's three. Uh, let's try a 60. There, a 60 got us two. But let's try, a, I don't know, 65. 
Yeah. Well, we've got this one word, but let's see what happens if we uh, accept that by just doing the reset. It's still, still this. Um, this is going to be our template for the entire project. Okay. So you're with me so far? Uh, we have formatted, and because we don't want to keep formatting every time we make a split. All right. So there's a hint. Uh, made, uh, when you're talking, remember those natural breaks. Let's say, okay, uh, here's where I want the split. Command B. Okay. So now we have two clips, and they're identical as far as what they say. And say, okay, up here, right there. Okay, there's where I want to make that pause. Uh, our our subtitle uh, and and type that to that point. So now we have these three clips and by the way you know you can drag those if you know a point. And uh, each one of these are identical now. Uh, but okay here's our first one and here's our second one. You can do you can go ahead and make the pauses that you want to uh, translate right right like this are all identical and then you know just go ahead and, and uh, stick the, the next thing in here. Okay, and then I will accept that. There we go. So you see how this works. Now we play through there. Let's uh, get that out of the way so we won't have to hear that. And then, uh, okay, da 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 but here's a problem. Remember, you can't stack titles. So if you had a title under here, uh, your only option is going to be either to put it in the middle um, or, well, there's other options. I don't want to go into all that right now. But try and organize it so that you don't stack these titles like this. Uh, you could put it in the middle, for instance. There you go. Uh, no, so do you get the idea there? Uh, you, you create this one lower third, you format it so you don't have to keep doing it. And then you just simply go in after you've made your breaks and, um, and, and type the translation. Uh, you just had to hope for the best <laughs> as far as the readability because we don't have any ability to put uh, like a little panel behind here that would darken it. Uh, you can certainly try the outline you know, if you wanted. Uh, and then double click this to enable our editing pane here. And you can try that. Uh, this Gil Sands bold is, is, is pretty decent, but get something that's thick if you don't want to use that. And that is basically it uh, for subtitling.